One may not believe just by looking at this sloppy, insecure teenager consuming brain rotting content <laughs> that she is in fact considered by many to be one of the most academically smart amongst her peers. <laughs> yeah, I think they should do a re-evaluation of that. Ah, oh, my face! Yeah, if this is the smartest, society is doomed. Hello, internet! I'm not MatPat, but I was labeled growing up as this smart slash gifted kid. Although I bet no one would be able to tell just by looking at my very sedentary looking ass. And I know it sounds pretentious to say that I was the smart kid growing up, but yeah, it sounds pretentious. There's nothing much I can do about that. And believe it or not, being called the smart kid growing up was the one thing that set me up for failure in life. But probably not in the way that you think. Being called a gifted or smart child is a trap. Let me explain why. The term smart is defined as having or showing a high degree of mental ability, intelligent, bright. The gifted kids are perceived to have great aptitudes and to be able to learn faster. But in the real definition, it's more like someone who procrastinates and leaves projects and test studies for last minute but then magically turns on 120% of their brain power to get everything done on time and get away with it because they still manage to get good grades somehow. This is the definition that should be in the Urban Dictionary. This experience pretty much sums up the gifted child experience. So this one time, I hadn't studied at all for a test and I was super worried. Because the day before, I procrastinated all day by rotting in bed watching YouTube or playing games. It was an important physics test and you could see every type of student's reaction to it. Some were teaching their friends all the formulas last minute, some were panicking, others just gave up. I check the clock and the test is about to start in 10 minutes. I take a deep breath and look at the study sheets my friends had made. I open the textbook to check for examples where the formulas would be used. I close my eyes and... Turned on 100% of my brain power. I had full concentration. Everything seemed very clear to me. This formula used in this case. I can understand this. I had all the power. Let's go. And my time was up. All right, class test starting now. Good luck. Although you wouldn't need luck if you had studied. What do you mean? I answered the best I could, but on this one question in particular, I had come up with a result that came out of the formula. But I took a second to imagine the actual scenario and had a weird gut feeling, or brain feeling, if you will, that my answer was wrong. Hmm. Yeah, something's not right here. So I cancelled my first answer and redid it without the formula. Somehow, I don't remember how. A couple minutes later, I finished the test and gave it to the teacher while, of course, a little anxious. I was sure I had done horrible on it. I had not studied, I studied 10 minutes before the test. It's obvious you're not gonna do well. I was having an internal fight with myself, thinking, why the hell didn't I study earlier? Uh, I don't wanna bomb and have to retake the exam. I won't be surprised if we get a 2 on the test. Hi, I'm such a disappointment. I talked to my friend who had studied and we talked about that one question I changed answers. So what did you answer? Oh, on that one I put 9 meters per second. Oh damn, that was my original answer and I changed it to 10.7 meters per second. Wait, guys, I answered 3.5 meters per second. Meters per second? Guys, the answer was in kilometers per hour. Panic! Two weeks went by and it was time to get our graded test back. Everyone is shaking. An existential crisis kicked in. Oh, oh my god, I'm sure I bombed. I'm a disappointment to my parents. Why the hell was I born? Well done, Jenna. Hmm? Just make sure to show your work properly next time, okay? Huh? What the f- I got a 9.75 out of 10? How? The teacher only deducted a little because my work was too messy. But honestly, I don't know what the hell I did to get that grade. It was like my brain did some magic and it just didn't feel learned. And I literally forgot everything I crammed 10 minutes before the test, 5 minutes after finishing it. And because of this minimal effort I put in, while still getting good grades, I was labeled a smart slash gifted kid by my parents, teachers and classmates. So what? You barely studied and still did well in school. Sounds great. What are you complaining about? Yeah, I know it sounds great, right? But no, no, it's really not. Now think about it, if one time you don't study and still do well on a test and face no consequences for not studying, what do you think will happen next time another test comes up? Exactly! You'll think that even if you don't study, you'll do well again. 
you're reinforcing yourself that studying is a lot of effort, but not studying will give you pretty much the same result, so why study at all? And with that, trying to stay at a desk to study became extremely harder and harder for me. Distracting, everything just seemed so tedious. Being forced to watch Sniper Wolf for 3 hours straight seemed more interesting than studying. If I could somehow talk to my younger self, I really want to say this. Look, I know that you're doing well right now, and you may be doing better than a lot of your peers academically without much effort, but that won't last. Because there will be a time in your life where your minimal effort won't be enough. People who are studying and working harder will eventually surpass you. You may be doing relatively well right now, but if you don't stop the vicious cycle of putting in minimal effort and procrastination, you really feel left behind one day. Because when a harder, actually difficult challenge came for me and I needed to work hard, I wasn't able to put up a fight. Because I've actually never done that before. All I ever done was feed into the procrastination and cram cycle. I didn't learn how to be consistent and work hard. And I became a disappointment for myself, my parents, my teachers. I actually only got better when I learned the hard way that I needed a goal in life other than just do okay at school. I only got to understand a little bit about this paradox of being smart, gifted kid and feeling like a failure by watching this video by a psychiatrist called Dr. K. Literally, the first meme he showed was this. Oh boy, I sure do love being perceived as a gifted child. I hope I don't end up being a perfectionist burned out with depression, anxiety, unfulfilled expectations and no real interest or goals. Holy shit, that's me. Go watch this video, it's honestly awesome. Anyways, start slow and explore to find a goal for yourself other than just doing alright at school. And just work hard for your future self. They'll thank you. This was more like a message to my younger self, who just felt like lost and a failure. But let me know if you had a similar experience or... I don't know, if there's a story you want to share, write them down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye!